Secretary of the Army John McHugh recently met with senior leaders and soldiers at Fort Stewart and Hunter Army Airfield. At the Gray Eagle uh, facility I visited, uh, I'm talking to a young man who'd been uh, an engineer and been repairing these things for about a year. I asked him what you were doing before uh, the past year when you learned this skill. He goes, I was driving a tractor. It, it's just amazing to me to see soldiers of such a young age uh, take on these complex challenges and, and do them expertly. You know, this is an army at a time of great transition. We're coming out of our last, and uh, hopefully for some time, final theater of war. Um, the budgetary changes and challenges that we're facing are significant. Uh, and we are an army that uh, is needing to think about itself in, in different ways and needing to uh, plot ahead a future that, that is clouded and is uncertain. Stepping foot for the first time in the cockpit of an AH-64 Apache Longbow helicopter, Chief Warrant Officer 5, Tony Byrne, gives Secretary of the Army an overview of the aircraft. He also took time out of his busy schedule to visit Fort Stewart's historic memorial, Warrior's Walk. While acknowledging there are a lot of tough times ahead, Secretary of the Army is confident we can meet those challenges. Reporting from Fort Stewart, Georgia, I'm Staff Sergeant Gwendolyn Young.